So welcome back. So this was an absolutely horrible day for the market. So just to keep it short, the, there was a lot of volatility and the main reason for that volatility was not the election. It was basically uh, um, news that there was a new vaccine. However, I think the market completely overreacted like, well, uh, probably as we expect because we have had several vaccines in the last uh, last uh, five to six months been announced and the market basically completely overreacts every single time if you just keep it short then um, yes there's a vaccine it is uh, over 90 percent um, it will help over 90 percent of patients and there the case study is is technically massive it's over forty thousand. so but uh, it has not been approved yet and even though it got approved the, uh, today, it will not be in the market until one year. And a lot of things can happen in one year. So that being the case, we're pretty much back to, to normal tomorrow, I'm, I'm kind of guessing. If we just look at the US dollar index, it rallied quite significantly. And uh, there was fairly little correlation between the US dollar index, the indices, the commodities, um, or the precious metals, or, or whatsoever. So this rallied, as we did expect, we hit um, the lows here on, on Friday session. This is, is a major support here. We rallied, technical indicators were also uh, showing us that we are b about to turn around in the US dollar index. So we'll at least go to the 50 uh, moving average. If that breaks, we'll go to uh, 494.20 and then probably to 94.77 and after that to the to, uh, 200 moving average. But at least this area here has been significant uh, support uh, in the past and today it was also major support. So Keep that in mind, if this rallies, then other commodities that, for example, the day rallied significantly, they will uh, fall significantly tomorrow or on Wednesday session or at least uh, one, uh, in the end of the week, most likely tomorrow. So we look at oil. So oil rallied significantly like 10 percent from from we found the support here at the 200 moving average and then we rallied uh, over 10 percent and there's no absolutely no reason for this even though there was a vaccine today even even though this vaccine got released today it is still like 90 percent of people that it will help like 10 percent of the people will it won't help and then you have to ask the question, is that risk good enough? Will people go back on cruise liners? Will people go back flying? And so on like they were uh, prior to coronavirus. And my answer to that is no, they will not. There will still be, still be sick people, old people, and so on. A large part of the population that will not take that risk and say that this vaccine is not good enough. They won't be happy until it's basically 100% the protection against this disease. So we're technically back where we started. We already see that we have had a pullback. So this area here, so that area, about 41.54, has proven to be significant resistant. It was also in the past here, 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 here and all this area over here. So that being the case, this was announced that we had a vaccine. I thought it was going to rally significantly more. It may do. It may have another run towards this resistance line tomorrow, but as you can see, it's still um, a decreasing value. If you look at the four-hour chart, we are basically falling. And uh, we had this flag pattern here, touched the 50 moving average and then just exploded to the upside but still we found resistance here we are decreasing the question is whether or not we can break this 200 moving average and this is at 39.40 uh, 
um, when we get there. If we bounce from here, then we probably could stay in within this range for uh, for some time. But these technical indicators for the four hour chart are not looking very pleasant. Especially the CCI is looking very negative. The same goes such a stochastic. Uh, we were over uh, bought at, at this peak and we technically just need the MACD to turn around. If you look at the one hour chart, it's even more dire. All the technical indicators are showing that we are going to lower levels. And um, the, if we look at the Fibonacci retracement for this, we can see that the first retracement is here at the 39.8080, and then we're at least going to 39.39. Uh, so, um, so, yes, I don't expect us to rally from here. That is just my um, analysis because there's no need to. There's nothing in the world economy that basically has changed for us to expect a massive uh, rally here. There's no vaccine at this point. It's best just an announcement of an X vaccine that will, will be available at the end of 2021. Yes, in one year. So at this point, I think that we are going to test the 50 moving average. If that breaks, we'll go back towards the 200 moving average, and then we'll also go and test these lower levels again, because there's technically nothing changed at this point. So if you look at natural gas, a lot of people have asked about natural gas and so on. So we are, if you look at the technical indicators, um, probably a bit early of entering, but there's a reason for that. And that is because natural gas tends to, um, when it rallies, rally quite um, fast. And it is very difficult to catch that rally. Uh, and when you know that uh, 50 moving average and you have this, if you have the trend line here, this line here is supportive, then you probably, if you want to get maximum maximum out of this trade, you start early. That is at least what I do. Some start when you basically see the next candlestick going up here, but usually that explodes to the upside, similar to something like this, and you can see it here, and then you basically can't catch that that trade. So at this point, technical indicators are turning around. You can see the CCI is turning around, the, the stochastic is turning around, and the, and the RSI is technically flat at this point. So if this breaks, then of course you should have a stop loss underneath here, as I wrote in my, my signal. Um, if we rally from here, we'll most likely go to these highs because there's nothing basically preventing us from going to these highs. So this is basically the target. And if you should enter more that is basically up to every individual i have basically um uh, invested uh, the amount of money that i'm willing to invest into this particular trade but at this point if we rally we go to the highs if we break down from here then make sure to have the stop loss in order because a break below the 50 moving average here can open the, the door to much lower levels, around uh, two, six, something like that, this area here. It's not expected because you can see historically, this has been significant support. And uh, yes, there's no reason to expect otherwise at this point. So if you look at copper, so copper rally again uh, to these very highs, and then broke down again. So this was a possible trade I mentioned yesterday. If we went to these due to these highs, it was possible to enter a sell trade here. And the destination for this is the 50 moving average. Until we break the 50 moving average, I'm pretty sure we'll just stay within this range. This is very similar to to uh, to oil. There's no reason to expect this market to rally beyond this area. This is actually. Uh, higher than I thought this market would go. I thought this was basically the the, uh, the highs of this market. But at this moment, we're trading in between these highs and the 50 moving average. So at this point, expect a move towards the 50 moving average. If that breaks below that, then we go to these lows, then to these lows, and then 
if we rally, we go up to the very highs again. So technical indicators for this are, well, they are they're mixed technically. MACD is not is flat, the RSI is flat, and the CCI and the uh, stochastic are fairly bullish at this point. Um, well, if you wanted to enter this trade, you should have entered it there for a sell towards the 50 moving average. So that's that's a fairly good trade. Um, I when I trade copper, I like to trade it when it moves similar to this, not when it becomes uh, choppy in a in a very uh, small space so you look at gold so pay attention to gold and as i said many 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 times um, gold would find massive resistance within this area so we got up here even though we had this vaccine news we just needed any kind of news in order for this market to basically break to the downside the interesting thing is that we broke the very lows. So the lows were around here, uh, there, and yeah, we kind of ended right at those very lows. But that is interesting because I do expect this market to go lower. The very lows for this market is here, around 1800, right next to the 200 moving average. That is a very, very interesting place to to make a bet, a long-term bet for gold. And that's where I think this market is going. If you look at the technical indicators, the CCI is extremely bearish at this point. The stochastic is also bearish. MACD is just crossing the signal line and uh, we have a lot of room to the downside because we're only 42. So we may see this market probably rally a little bit up towards the 50 moving average in the morrows when it begin, and then we continue downwards. Um, this was expected, even though we had this news or not, we were overstretched. There was no way that we were going to go through this at, at any point. So if you look at silver, silver also, the same thing here. There was no way that we were going to get, get through this area, even though if we got the news today or whatsoever. The 50 moving average was significant, so resistant. This area is significant resistant. We need a pullback towards at least $20 before we can rally from here. I have no interest in basically buying this or selling this. The same goes for gold. I'm waiting for a pullback towards the $20 range in order to basically buy this for the long run. So if you look at the cocoa. So cocoa did... What we expected it to do, it rallied up towards the 200 moving average and had a fairly major pullback. So this area here is resistant. Or you can say many other people were basically looking at the same trade and expecting a major uh, resistant area here and then started selling. And when you see this type of selling, then you should expect this to go lower. We can go a little bit higher, but we're not going to break uh, probably not the 200 moving average, definitely not the 50 moving average at this point. So we can probably say that we are doing um, uh, lower lows here and here, and then we're going even lower with the next one until we reach the very bottom here. And it's not until we reach the very bottom when it becomes uh, interesting to trade this. So a selling opportunity, a buying opportunity is here at 2.0. Selling opportunity is here up at zero at 2.7. We are in the middle of nowhere at this point. It's probably a, a trade to if we have a, um, if we reach the 50 moving average, similar to this, and then sell it all the way down to 2.0. That is a possible trade. Technical indicators for this are still fairly bear, uh, bullish. So there is momentum to the upside still, and probably 200 or the 50 is where we go before we turn around. But this should be a warning sign. There is a lot of, of selling uh, going around when we get close to these moving averages. So if you look at Platinum, Platinum got absolutely hammered today. So there is so much resistant at this area here. Around this area here, we can see it there. And also here, if we get basically close to this area, we get basically 
shot down all the way down to the 200 moving average which also is support and therefore we are trading within <laughs> this area here this is the basically area platinum is trading if this is an interest to anybody i don't know it's not interesting to me um i'm doing a video about it but but this it doesn't make any sense to trade something that is um this is volatile in this short range it uh, so it's fairly predictable 50 moving average is major um resistant 200 moving average is support and therefore you can basically trade in between these two moving averages technical indicators at the moment are fairly mixed because we had this rally and then basically broke to the downside but it had a fairly major pullback but at this point it's technically hopeless to say where this market is going we have a lot of resistance above we have a massive amount of support underneath so if you look at sugar so sugar basically ended up where we uh, where we started today we are trading fairly sideways at this point uh, we are looking for a move towards the 50 moving average in order to enter this market um, and at this point it's just too risky to buy it um, you could basically say that this is probably a flag i, I like path patterns flag patterns when we go towards the 50 moving average and then bounce to the to the upside we need a uh, um, uh, pull back towards the 50 moving average in order to enter this market similar to something like this and this and what we saw over here in order to go higher in this market uh, at this moment we don't have that so we just have to wait this is not a trade that anybody should enter neither for a sell or a buy because we are technically in the middle of nowhere and it's basically a 50 50 chance of getting it right and those odds are not good enough but it's um it is uh, it is an opportunity to make a trade here later so we look at wheat it's the last one we are getting very close to the 50 moving average in wheat so this is the trade that i am most likely going to enter uh, in a few days time if we break these previous lows here that opens the door to the 50 moving average and then we just have to see what happens to these uh, technical indicators if they turn around or at any point um, if you look at the 40 moving giant we are basically here again trying to test the 200 moving average and the four hour chart but still technical indicators are not turning around here or they are in the uh, the one hour chart so we will most likely go towards 592 before anything um before we hit major support in this um in this uh, instrument so we also need to wait here uh it is not a trade that you should enter at this point because expect a, a pullback towards the 50 moving average and then you can buy it and the target will be 636 in the, at least in the beginning so hope you find this helpful uh it was a difficult trading day today and often when you have trading lights like this it's just better to stay away from the market and have your stop losses in order um it is basically just gambling when the, when there's so much volatility so good luck and thank you very much Thank you.